What's up, y'all? My name is Austin. You're watching Fishing Fever. Got to uh, got to get some bait. So I'm gonna hop around a couple different places, see what we can do. <clears throat> it's do or die today. Plan on going catfishing this evening. All right, let's see if anything's getting washed into this spillway here. Just using the old crappy jig. Probably gonna get hung up. Should I walk across right here or should I go way up and around? We're gonna go for broke. It's a nice balmy 29 degrees outside. So falling in is not an option, which means total concentration is necessary. There's a hole right there. We made it across. I'm guessing if there's anything in here, they're gonna be in slack water. But it would be neat to catch something. I almost find this hard to believe. Then again, I don't. Look who's holding the fishing rod. Yeah, there's nothing in here. So we're gonna press on and not fall down. I think my dad bought me these muck boots. This video wouldn't be possible without them. So thank you for that. I'll see y'all at the next spot. All right, y'all, spot number two. This is that same pond that I fished in that last bait video. I got here and I said, let me check in with the lady that owns this pond. And man, she got to talking to me. We talked for a good while, which is a good thing. When y'all, uh, oh, there's one. When y'all get permission to fish a pond, Great day, that's a good brim. Whoo, I like seeing that. When y'all get permission to fish a pond or you know someone's private land like this, you need to uh you need to go in and check in with them every once in a while. Sit down and have a conversation with them. It'll go a long way. People people don't like it when uh when you ask, hey, can I fish in your pond? And then they never see you again. You know, that, that irritates people and that's perfectly understandable. Get it on the drop. Another brim. Well, like I said in that other video, I'd rather be catching brim if I'm going to be using them for bait anyway. All right, y'all. That's what we ended up with for bait. Doesn't bother me one bit to keep a bass, especially in a pond like this where nobody's going to keep the bass anyway, so you got a ton of real small ones. and. It doesn't hurt to do any kind of management like that, you know. It'd be fine. But anyways, I'll see y'all at the river. All right, guys, it's two days after I caught all that bait. Um, I tried fishing last night closer to the house, but a lot of debris. Look at that. You see that? That's what we're fighting tonight. And then had to deal with some beavers. I don't know if y'all can sit. Oh, that scared me. Woo! <laughs> oh, I've never been so scared by a beaver. I said, screw it. And so uh, after work, it's the next day. After work, I come down here in the city of Richmond, see if I can pick one off. I caught two last time I was here. They weren't very big, but it's better than nothing. But let's go ahead and get baited out. All I got is uh, bluegill for bait, but I love bluegill for bait. So, all right. Let's get out there.
here so I can get them on land. Oh, I'm still digging. I'm still digging, y'all. Just whisker hooked. Man, that sucks. That sucks. Well, man, that sucks. That was a good fish, too. All right, well, let's get another bait to him. He wanted the headpiece. Well, we'll see if that's a good sign. I don't know. Like I said, he was just hooked. You know, barely just wh whisker hooked. And I got my hands on him and he jerked and y'all know how it is, he just came right off. We're not giving up yet though. That's good. We're getting bites on multiple types of uh, cuts. This is on a fillet. Of course, he's just a little guy, but that's fine with me. Just a little guy, but hey, <laughs> we've gotten uh, three bites and. If I would have had a net, I'd have had a 20 pounder to show y'all. So, what do you want to complain about? This is awesome, man. Awesome. James River, baby. We'll use that same fillet. Why not? I'm sorry I don't have the, uh, the chest mount camera. I would show y'all a little bit better picture, but... I think I left the GoPro chest mount at the house. I always forget at least one thing. Usually it's nothing important, really. But I, I wish I had that. I really wish I had a net. Bit better one long skinny nasty looking thing this looks like a spawn fish which they're not in spawn he just looks like he's having a rough time got a sore on his lip i don't know man you can tell he's been in the rocks and stuff all scraped up knots on his head Whew. he looks hungry thin all right we'll throw him back Heck yeah, y'all. Nice long fish. All right. It turns out the chest mount was in the truck. I ran back to I said, maybe I left it in the truck. So I ran back and got it because if I catch a fish tonight, 
and I gotta bring them over there. I'm gonna need some light or else I'm gonna be really uh really in a bad situation or possibly I don't know. <clears throat> Anyways, so I put everything on the clicker and ran over to the truck and ran back. scared me for a second I love wildlife man but I don't like being surprised I don't like being snuck up on man and owls are no joke you ever seen what they've done to a rabbit Lord of mercy especially fishing down here in uh, downtown Richmond every time I hear leaves crunching I feel like I'm gonna have to fish fight or a tweaker to keep my fishing spot My buddy Craig will like that. He can make an owl sound like, I mean, you wouldn't even know it. If you were, if you didn't know he was right there, it sounds just like an owl. He'll just do it randomly too. Like no context, no nothing, just walk around, start making owl noises. <laughs> That's one thing about electricians, we can be very unpredictable. <laughs> Ooh, smoke another one. Filet mignon. There's a hole right there. With the sun going down, I would have thought they'd hunker down in that hole. Catfishing in the winter time is all about the relative temperature between the water and the air, if that makes any sense. If the air temperature is warmer than the water temperature, especially if it's been like that for a couple days, catfish will start coming out of their holes. When I say hole, I just mean a deep spot. They'll start coming out of their holes and they'll hang out on the ledge or they'll go up onto a flat and they'll feed up there if the water temperature is warmer than the air temperature especially if it's been like that for a couple days the catfish will stay down in that hole they might come up on the ledge a little bit but they'll predominantly stay down in that hole and feed down there because they, they don't want to go any any closer to the uh to the surface where that cold air is they're constantly trying to go to the warmest spot you know but they won't they're not going to swim for i mean it's it could happen but they're not going to swim for miles looking for a warm spot it's going to be a, the warmest spot within a reasonable distance so like right in front of me i've got a hole that's like look at there stay on baby down there he's nothing crazy but I love him to death already and I don't even know his name all right I gotta walk underneath my other lines kind of tricky doing this I know a lot of y'all do situations like this all the time where you've got to walk your fish to different spots in order to get them <sighs> sorry that this GoPro is so shaky it's kind of really difficult you can't really like secure it to your chest to where it doesn't move or at least I don't know how to all right where you at he's not terrible 
But like I said, I don't have a net. And uh, so let's see, how is he hooked? He's hooked really good. This is a 60 pound leader and he doesn't weigh 60 pounds. So yeah, that's a good fish. Female. <sighs> don't go too crazy on me. Yeah, a nice little female. All right, let's get her back up to the other camera. All right, y'all, what was I saying? They're in the holes. Yep. I don't know if you saw me. I don't know if it's on camera, me tossing it into the hole. But it hadn't been there for two minutes. I mean, it, it, or whatever, however long it took me to explain what I was doing. That's awesome. Well, I haven't taken an actual picture of any of these fish tonight, so I'm going to get a quick picture of her, and then we'll put her back. All right. All right. We'll be easier with this one and walk her down. <clears throat> well, i got to get my ride anyways. All right. Say bye-bye. Awesome. All right, y'all. I think that's where I'm going to end it. Uh, did pretty good. Hopefully, I can show y'all, you know, in this video, how I catch my bait and how I catch catfish in the wintertime. At least from the bank. Maybe it'll help somebody. I don't know. Either way, if you found it entertaining or you just liked it or whatever, hit the like button. Subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Leave a comment. I love replying to the comments. Um, real quick, I want to give a shout out to um, two other YouTube channels, uh, Two Stands Fishing and Team Snag and Whiskers. Um, I've been communicating to them um, via live streams and whatnot and uh, Instagram and different things. And um, They both fish the James River and they've both invited me to, uh, to go out with them and, you know, do a collaboration video or join them on a, on a live stream and two stands fishing he does a uh, live stream every sunday morning from 9 a.m to, to noon so you should definitely check that out and team stag and whiskers they've been on fire man they've been uh doing this tournament where different rivers across the country or whatever you know competing against each other and it's just for fun really but they went up against the tennessee river and i think dustin is part of team snag and whiskers he called his pb on stand day yesterday so congrats to him i just want to say thank you to both of those channels y'all have been really nice and, and uh you know inviting me to come along just making me feel welcome in the uh, catfishing community that you guys have going on and i really appreciate that so check those two channels out i'll put the links in the description anyways unless i catch something while i'm packing up I'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all keep fishing. Stay warm.